Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. In this video, guys, I want to share with you the um, sneak peek of the thermoelectric generator build that I got going on. So, for some quick 411, I've been working on this project uh, kind of secretively at first for quite some months, and uh, now just finally starting to let it come out. Uh, the knowledge about it because I want to make sure and get this right. Uh, I done a mount before this had plates on it just like that and then the uh, bottom plate as well and the wire coming out. What I've done is I JB welded um, this to hold the plate in so we're going to go with a new design that screws and bolts in but that's kind of the first one I've done. Tore it back apart because I used the uh, Chinese plates off eBay. Don't do that. Uh, so anyway what the one you see right here in front of you, this is pretty much going to be the final design. It's just another styling like this flipped up right now so you can see it. But before I zoom in, I want to show you right now what's got us on hold is this plate. It's kind of warped. You can see it's kind of bent. What happens is, is the metal wants to flex because it's so thin once it gets on the heat surface and it doesn't want to stay tight against the plates and that can't, we just can't have that. So, um, you know, I'm always thinking about you guys when I'm doing these YouTube builds and I found a affordable plate that's already prefab that's 20 bucks on eBay um, that you can drill out what we need to. And so what's going to get edited on this, I'll show you this and one other thing, and that's all you're getting for a sneak peek, you can watch the build video, is um, we'll drill this out here uh, in a, some appropriate places. But I found a source for plates that I'll share in the build video. And uh, I spent an hour with them on the phone today covering... Uh, what needed to be done to adjust this out and I sent them a picture and we talked back and forth and really all that needs changing is the bottom plate um, because this does not want to contact against these good and that has to happen because your cool side and your hot side has to work well together um, but anyway we've got the wire coming out very nicely and um, I tried to source out some good wire that was affordable and the wire that comes off this I found a charge controller um, that's for solar power because this thing's going to create good amperage but nothing ridiculous to the point where you couldn't just use a solar charge controller on it. And I found one that has a USB plug-in thing on it and uh, some other little odds and ends that's neat about that. So the great thing about being able to hook this into that and then onto your battery bank is you can pull uh, some 5-volt uh, input like charge cell phone, things like that. Uh, for USB and then you can still run on to charge your battery bank at 12 volt so and it'll regulate that out good where that this thing fluctuates with the hot and the cold so that is another good uh, addition to it but it'll be about two more weeks I think before um, I get the rest of the components in and then probably another week's time frame on the build I don't know I'm trying to get this done before uh, deep winter because I'd like for you to enjoy this build on your wood stove um, during the winter season get you some power out of it too. So guys that's where we're at right now uh, with the thermoelectric build. I just want to share with you some progress. Um, the new plate will be bolted onto here. Uh, the, the silicone, uh, the permatex will be put back on it and then at that point we'll just finish our wiring. That project's pretty much done but I've got the build video about half the content ready for the edit floor um, just as soon as these parts comes in we'll get back in action and I hope you enjoy this build I think it'll be probably one of the best builds we ever do on the channel um, I think it's very beneficial it's great for OPSEC if you don't want to have solar panels on top of your house and wind turbines for uh, people to see from a distance uh, if you're really wanting to go hardcore OPSEC then this is probably an option you can look into this thing ought to generate about 40 50 watts maybe that's the goal post we'll see on the test um, but anyway uh, until we see again here 7 Trumpets Prepper channel Keep an eye out for this and keep us in your thoughts and prayers that this is a successful build. And I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.